Hi, this is David at Mash IT. Now we've recently reviewed both the XPS 9500 and the XPS 9700. So whilst we've got them both in the studio, I thought it'd be quite nice to do a very quick comparison review of the two of them. So over here we've got the XPS 9500 on the left and the XPS 9700 on the right. So you can see straight away, 15 inch, 17 inch laptops. And what we've basically done to try and make this as fair as possible, we've kept the specs very similar. So both of these laptops have got the 1200p matte screen, the i7 10750H, the GTX 1650Ti, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and a 512 gigabyte SSD. So they are both pretty much identical specs for specs. The biggest difference is, obviously, it's gonna have a larger screen on the 17 inch, and it has vapor chamber cooling. So one thing that we are gonna be checking is how much extra performance does the 17 inch larger size and vapor chamber give us compared to the 15. But before we start that, we're gonna have a quick look at the size of the machines together and the difference in the actual ports. So here we go, I'm gonna place the XPS 15 on top of the XPS 17 so that you can get a good idea of how much extra size there is on the 17. Now, with both of these machines, I really should have put a, another machine next to it to give you an indication of how small they are compared to a typical 15 inch and 17. They're both very compact machines for the respective class of laptops. The 15 inch is more like a 14 inch, and I would say the 17 inch is more like a 16 inch laptop. That's mostly due to the infinity screens with the very tiny bezels. So putting them on top of each other, you can see straight away, the 15 inch is quite a bit more compact, and you're looking at about an inch to front to back and left to right difference between the two of these laptops. I'm gonna put them side by side as well, and we'll look at the actual height of the laptops. So side by side, you can see that the 17 inch is very slightly taller than the 15 inch. It really isn't a lot. I would say about two millimeters. So not a massive amount of difference. So you can see obviously the 15 inch is a lot more compact, but they're both very compact laptops. Now let's have a quick look at the ports. Now, if you've watched the reviews, you know that with these, you don't get a great deal of ports. On the left side, you've got your Kensington lock and then two Thunderbolt 3 stroke USB-C ports. And if I then switch it to the right hand side, this is where they are slightly different. Now the XPS 9500 has a full size SD card slot, a headset jack, and a USB-C port that isn't Thunderbolt 3. So on the XPS 17, as well as having the same full size card reader and headset jack, you've actually got another two USB-C stroke Thunderbolt 4 ports. So obviously you are paying more of a premium for the 17 inch laptop over the 15 inch. You are actually getting two extra Thunderbolt 3 ports with this machine, as opposed to just two Thunderbolt 3 and a USB-C on the 15. Okay, so size wise, you can see they're both very compact and the 17 is a little bit bigger. Um, with both these laptops, you get in the box, the little Dell dongle that they provide, which is quite a nice little feature considering there are no full size USBs or other ports. And on the dongle that you have got, uh, obviously your fold away USB-C that you plug into the actual laptop, and then an, a USB three port and an HDMI port. So that's quite handy. Uh, I wish Apple had done the same when they went, moved us to the dongle life. It saves you spending a 70 pound on an Apple adapter. And with both of these machines, you get a nice compact 130 watt USB power supply. Now this is quite large for a USB-C power supply, but you're gonna need it because you've obviously got a six core processor and a GTX 1650 Ti, and you can actually even go higher than that. Now a couple of people mentioned from our XPS 9700 review that there's battery drain on this model. Now in our review and in our testing, we didn't get any battery drain with our XPS 9700, but that's probably because we've chosen the model with a six core processor and a GTX 1650Ti. If you get the model with the 2060, you still get the same 130 watt adapter and that will cause you power drain because obviously the 2060, even a Max-Q, takes about an extra 30 watts over the 1650Ti. So our model didn't get battery drain, so that was one good thing with this model. So let's open them back up again, look inside. Looking internally at these machines, they are actually very similar. The only difference is, the 17 inch is a slightly scaled up model of the 15 inch model. They've got the same keyboard. They've both also got the same size trackpad. And it is a very large trackpad on both of the machines and it is really nice when you're sort of using it and you're not gliding off the edges like you are with the old fashioned small trackpads. And it's about 15 centimeters by nine centimeters. So it is a really good size trackpad. Now the main difference between the two is obviously the screen. 
these are both 1200 p screens, but you can see we've got a slightly smaller 15 inch, which will have a higher pixel density, and then a slightly larger 17 inch, which will obviously have a lower pixel density. But in my use and in the testing, I enjoyed both these screens equally. The 17 inch obviously is a bit more comfortable on your eyes because it is a larger screen area. And I would recommend running both these machines at 100 DPI if possible, because you're getting no scaling issues and it looks great in my opinion on both of these machines. Now, although the 17 inch has got a bigger screen, that's not the only differences I found with looking at these two side by side. You can see the white point is quite different between these two screens. From my personal opinion, I prefer the look of the colors and the whites on the actual XPS 15 as I do to the 17. Also, the 15 inch seems to get slightly brighter. They're both equally good screens and every single panel has a sort of a, a, sort of a different variance. No two panels are exactly the same. So, you know, what you get might be slightly different. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check and see if the speakers sound the same between the two models. So both these laptops are set to 40% on the volume and we're running just some uh, royalty-free music on YouTube. I'm gonna play the 15 inch first and then we're gonna move across to the 17 inch. Let's see what they sound like. 15 inch. Seventeen inch. Well, they both sound great. Uh, the seventeen inch definitely sounds louder than the fifteen inch. Hopefully, you'll be able to pick that up in our uh, audio test there. But the fifteen, I don't know. It, it seems to reproduce the actual sound slightly better than the seventeen. So that's a bit of a strange one. I actually thought the 17 was going to sound better, but you know, both great speakers. Right, so now we're going to look at the performance of these two laptops. Now the biggest difference, other than the size, is the fact that the 17 inch has got a vapor chamber. So what we're going to do, I'm going to put both these through quite a heavy synthetic load to see how much better the vapor chamber and the 17 inch size is over the 15, if at all. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to just make sure, we're going to put them both on ultra performance so everything is fair. Now I'm going to run, I've got Cinebench set to only to use four threads for 10 minutes. We're going to run Unigen Valley as well. So really stress the system. So here we are, test is running on both the machines and you can see straight away that the GPU on the 17 inch is running at 50 watts, whereas the GPU on the XPS 15 is running at 40 watts. So that vapor chamber is obviously allowed for a higher wattage budget for the GPU, which is good. Now, when we look at the CPU, you can see we're running at 4.2 gigahertz on the 17 inch, whereas we're only running at 3.6 gigahertz on the 15. Again, the temperatures are both on both machines ramp up to about 100 degrees because Dell is quite happy to let it run at 100 before it ramps the fans up. Now, after a little while, the XPS 15 drops to about 16 to 1800 megahertz again where it can't keep up with the, the heat in the system so this is really throttling back whereas the XPS 17 is actually staying at about 3.5 gigahertz so staying pretty well within the, the power budget given without any major throttling so this is to say quite a heavy workload because we're, we're stressing the CPU and the GPU at the same time so this is worst case but the XPS 17 is handling it much better than the 15. So with regards to this performance section, I'm not really so bothered about the benchmark results of each of these machines because that's been done in each of their respective reviews. As I say, the links are in the descriptions if you wish to see either of the original reviews. Uh, I also put cards at the end that you can follow straight on from there to the reviews. What I'm more interested in is actual thermal behavior of the 17 inch with its larger chassis and vapor chamber over the 15 inch with a standard heatsink. I think that the biggest disappointment is, I'm sure Dell could have easily squeezed a vapor chamber in this 15 inch as well. I don't know why they decided that only the 17 inch was worthy of that vapor chamber. So we've got the results from the benchmark. The Unigen Valley Extreme HD benchmark is 1684 on the XPS 9500 and 2084 on the XPS 9700. So you can see how much the 15 inch is throttling back, what with the 10 watt budget deficit on the GPU and the CPU throttling. Now obviously the XPS 15, you know, it's a smaller machine and it's, it's designed as a productivity tool, whereas the XPS 17, the 9700, they seem to have put more thought into the cooling system, what with the vapor chamber. Now with regards to battery life, both these machines have equally impressive battery life. 
Now they are both the 1200p screen, which is matte and is better for the battery than the 4K touch screen. So obviously if you are interested in battery, this is the screen to get. And in my opinion, it's probably the better of the two for most people. The 4K it adds a, quite a premium onto the price of the laptop, it depletes your battery and you've also got Windows scaling issues. So it's only if you are doing a lot of photo editing or something, you really need that sort of crisp high DPI screen should you consider the touchscreen 4K plus model. So to test the battery life, we ran YouTube streaming over Wi-Fi at 50% brightness on both models and we disabled the power savings on them both. The XPS 9700 got about 10 and a half hours of usable battery life during this test. The XPS 15 scored nearly 11 hours, so very, very similar. It would depend on how bright you have the laptop and what you're running on the laptop as to what battery you're going to life you're going to get. But if it's a low use case, you're easily going to get a day's battery life out of either of these machines. So on to the conclusion. These are both great machines and they've both got their own use cases as to which one you should buy. Now first we're going to talk about the price. Between the difference in price of these two, it's £300 in the UK and probably about $300 in the States. That's quite a lot extra, and for that extra, you're gonna get a slightly larger notebook with a 17 inch screen, a vapor chamber cooler, and four USB 3 ports. So that's 300 pounds for those features. So you need to decide if that's worth it to you. The 15 inch, it's obviously that 300 pounds cheaper, it's a lot more compact, and these are both compact laptops, but it's a lot easier to throw in a bag and, and cart around all day. But you only have the three USB-C, and two of which are Thunderbolt 3 ports. But other than that, they are essentially the same. I would have a really tough time choosing between these and I think I would probably vote my wallet unless I absolutely needed that performance and I probably would pick up the 15 having used these side by side together. So let me know what you think. Which would you choose between these two? Would you go for the 15 inch or would you buy the more expensive 17 inch? Please let me know why as well. I'm always interested to find out what other people think when they're choosing between laptops. Also, please hit the like and subscribe and the notifications bell. We've got plenty more content coming up on the XPS lines, the Anywhere lines and we've got some more Mac content coming soon too. Thank you for watching.